Question number six says that multiply and express as mixed fractions. So in part A, we have three times five one fifths. So we'll write it as three times converting five one fifths into an improper fraction. So five times five, 25. 25 plus one gives us 26. So 26 over five. Now multiplying these two gives us the product as 78 over five. Now when we divide 78 over 5, we get the quotient as 15 and the remainder as 3. So the mixed fraction for this will be 15 3 fifths. Now coming to part B, we have 5 times 6 3 fourths. So that will be written as 5 times converting 6 3 fourths into an improper fraction. 4 6 are 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. So 27 over 4. Now multiplying these two gives us the product as 135 over 4. So when we divide 135 by 4, we get the quotient as 33 and the remainder as 3. So the mixed fraction will be 33 3 fourths. Coming to part C, we have 7 times 2 1 fourths. So that will be written as 7 times converting 2 1 fourths into an improper fraction. 4 2s are 8. 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 over 4. So that gives us 63 over 4. Dividing 63 by 4 gives us the quotient as 15 and the remainder as 3. So we get it as 15, 3 fourths. In part D, we'll do the same thing. 4 times 6 1 thirds will be converted into an improper fraction. 3 6 are 18, 18 plus 1 is 19. So 19 by 3. The product for these two will be 76 over 3. When we divide 76 by 3, we get the quotient as 25 and the remainder as 1. So it will be 25 1 thirds. The mixed fraction for this is 25 1 thirds. Coming to part E, we have 3 1 fourths times 6. So the improper fraction for this will be 4 3s are 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 over 4 times 6. Now we can reduce it. So 2 2s are 4. 2 3s are 6. 13 times 3 is 39. So we write it as 39 by 2. When we divide 39 by 2, we get the quotient as 19 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction for this will be 19 1 halves. The last part is part F where we have 3 2 fifths. We'll convert this into an improper fraction. So we get that as 17 over 5 times 8. The product comes out to be 136 by 5. So when we divide 136 by 5, we get the quotient as 27 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction for this will be 27 1 fifths. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.